Hello? Hello? Is anyone listening? I hope someone is. Anyway, I'm Milan Dalgris, editor of Smoking Apples. We are a pretty good Apple resource, I think. Mac reviews, iPhone apps, tips, tricks, stuff like that. You can check us out at smokingapples.com or, or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash smokingapples. So today is about Geek Tool, one of the best tools out there to customize the look of your desktop. My understanding of Geek Tool is that it, it allows you to run terminal commands right on your desktop. So you could effectively have the time, temperatures, or any other script that you could run in the terminal fixed on your desktop and make it look pretty good. I mean, if, if you've checked out our Flickr desktop pool, you will see that at least half of them use Geek, Geek Tool to, to uh, really bring out the desktop and make it something unique. Geek Tool is not a difficult tool as such, it's it's something that's a little tiresome that, that you need to work on it and find scripts and customize them just just so that they look good on, on your desktop. It, it involves a lot of design, it involves a lot of thinking and it involves a lot of it involves a lot of time basically. So if you have a lot of time on your hands and want to really bring some richness to your desktop, I think you should really check out Geek Tool. So here we go. So once you've downloaded and installed the Geek Tool Preference Pane, you can see that it's it's not something really pretty or or intuitive as we're used to on the Mac. But I guess for, that's why they call it Geek Tool. So we'll go ahead and create a new entry. And since we're placing the time on the desktop, we'll just rename this to time. Okay, so there's three types of entries there can be. One is file, which is basically a log file or, or, or a text file, which you can you can have on your desktop. Shell is a terminal command, which uh, you could also run in the terminal, except here it, it runs on your desktop and refreshes at uh, certain periods. And picture is a, an, a link to a picture on the web or your local hard drive. Uh, let's go ahead and choose shell for this and the moment you do that you'll see this uh, little gray area on the on the top uh, which is uh, the window size now in this all you need to type is date plus you can find a lot more scripts on uh, the URL that you can see on your screen As soon as you do that, you can see that it 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 brings up the date on your desktop. Uh, it's not very uh, pretty looking, so we'll have to go and change the fonts and colors. Yeah, that's about it. So that the time will refresh every 10 seconds. You can you can change it in in the command view, and now we'll just go and add the date as well. So instead of creating a new entry, I'll just duplicate this one, and rename that to date, and change a little bit of the syntax. So simple commands like this will allow you to add dynamic content to your desktop and format it so that it, it looks just perfect with your wallpaper. There's a whole bunch of terminal commands out there to uh, add different kinds of functionality to your desktop. So uh, you could for instance uh, really easily add CPU uh, usage, you could add memory usage, you could monitor your system uptime. and uh, 
and easily format this to to suit uh, your desktop environment i mean now if i wanted to change the cpu refresh rate to something a little quicker i could just as well go to the uh, the cpu entry and change the refresh rate from 10 to 1 and that really makes the desktop look uh, something alive i mean imagine this in 200 point helvetica now i'd also like to add uh, an rss feed uh, on my desktop so uh, what you need to do is download the newsfeed.sh file from the link that you can see on your screen and once you get there you will need to uh, you just place the file in your home folder uh, here it is so what we need to do is make this file ex executable using a terminal command so launch the terminal and once you get in there uh, type in sudo chmod and then give the path to uh, uh, the file that is in, in this case it's my home folder so laluris slash news.sh and upon hitting enter you will be asked your password uh, that's about it you will also need to edit the feed URL in, in the news.sh file so just open it up in any text editor New text edit should do fine and uh, change the feed URL to something from here to to whatever you want to and just uh, save the file so once you've done that we'll uh, open up geek tool again and uh, what you need to do is add this little bit of text to uh, your shell command uh, this is basically the the part to the file and uh, these are the number of entries so if you want like six entries you could hit that and uh, as soon as you hit enter it will refresh the feed and display it on your desktop uh, let's bring that down a little bit and uh, what I've done over here is I've added a, a title as well so all you need to do to add a bit of text on your desktop is uh, create a new entry and type in echo and put uh, whatever text you want inside of inverted commas. Uh, you could add this to inside of another script as well and uh, separate it with, with a semicolon. But uh, in, in that case it will take, take any formatting that you have, you have applied to the other text as well. So it's good to create some sort of separation between uh, titles and commands. So that's about it for the Geek Tool tutorial and I, I hope you uh, understood a, a little bit about how Geek Tool works and attempt to try it yourself. Uh, there's a whole lot more scripts that I've uh, rounded up on, on Spoken Apples. Uh, the link is on your screen. And do check them out and uh, do go over to our Flickr desktop pool and upload it there. You might even win something. This is Milan Alvis for Spoken Apples. Thanks for watching.